Hello. So for those of you who are wondering if the schematic works, it does. And if you follow it carefully, um, it actually works quite well. And uh, you don't need to do too much jiggery pokery with it. Um, and I can show you the result. I've been working on this for quite a while. I'm not big with electronics, but I'm getting there. I'm trying to learn as I go. And uh, the reason I'm making this is my brother uh, always wanted a theremin. So I thought I'd build him one for Christmas. Um, and quite frankly, I started in August, and it's now December. <laughs> so, this is the result, however. And yes, it's in a frog. He really likes frogs. Um, so, it's kind of funny. I'm going to call it the Singing Frog Theremin. Um, <laughs> why not? And uh, the theremin is in here. The tin is acting like a Faraday cage, although it does conduct a little bit. Mostly the antenna does under the frog. Uh, this is the volume and the, and the tone uh, knobs, and they work pretty well. And the big thing I discovered was this is really quite noisy. If I run it through an ordinary amp, which I built here, an, or, an ordinary 386, LM386 amp, it is really hideous. Um, awful, actually. And I tried all kinds of grounding, and it didn't do anything. Um, and I was about to really kind of look for another theremin design and try to start and get it done when I came across this on the internet. It is from Everyday with Practical Electronics, September 1995. And it's a very similar theremin with similar schematic demands, like uh, the inductors are 100 uh, micro Henry's and stuff like that. And I thought, hmm, well, maybe if they're similar this amp designed into the schematic would translate well over to this theremin or transfer well over to this theremin and sure enough when I built this 386 LM386 little amp everything got filtered out and it sounds really amazing um, and if you set it up right it there's a high-pitched whistle still it can actually not be there and it goes from off to really good range you know that's actually pretty good it's actually playable I think so you can have your hand like here 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 so it's quite far away compared to you know and anyways here is the circuit of the amp as you can see there's the 3d6 there's the volume and I can hang on a sec can't find my hand there we go turn it right down pardon my hand and pardon the shaky cam see very nice and it volumes well, it goes up and increases and decreases volume well. So I'm very pleased with this, and yes it does work. There you go. So yeah, have fun with the circuit, guys. And folks, I will try to post everything if I can. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care.